We've got two main institutes that we're um, that I'm uh, that we're promoting here um, that are uh, involved in a serious way in climate change research. Um, there's the Grantham Institute um, for Climate Change, which does a lot of work on policy and um, mitigation of climate change through a number of different ways. Um, doing research into, for example, um, different technologies, whether or not they're sustainable, whether or not they're um, unsustainable. And also there's the um, Energy Futures Lab at Imperial, which does more, I'd say, technical um, research, looking at things like um, uh, how to improve vehicle efficiencies, um, how to improve power ge generation efficiency, uh, next generation power efficiency, that sort of, that sort of thing. Right. And carbon capture and storage, which, which you're involved mm -hmm. in, how, how does that fall into, into, that, into that category? How does, how, does that, how does that work? So carbon capture and storage falls actually between the remits of the Energy Futures Lab and the um, uh, Grantham Institute for Climate Change. Um, CO2 capture is essentially taking CO2 out from the exhaust of a power station or from a uh, cement works, an island steel works, something like that. And um, rather than just emitting it to the atmosphere, you compress it, uh, so you, you concentrate it, you compress it, and then you um, uh, re-inject it underground, um, where it's held in place by sort of a geological um, stratum or something like that. Right. So it's out of harm's way, basically. It's, right, it, right, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to be um, um, causing any uh, climate problems because it's uh, um, two kilometres underground. Right. I mean, how big a problem is that? You know, emissions being basically you know, previously pumped into the air, pumped into the sea. I mean, how far have we gone to kind of controlling uh, our emissions from some of the, the, places, the places you've mentioned? Well, in terms of, in terms of um, power stations, that sort of stuff, coal-fired power stations, gas-fired power stations, um, and cement works, that sort of stuff, really not that much at all. Um, we have been improving the efficiency of a lot of these processes, which does obviously cut down the um, amount of CO2 emitted per kilowatt hour of electricity or per tonne of cement that you produce. But um, after a while, if you're continuing to use fossil fuels, and whether or not you should, that's a uh, different argument. Um, but bearing in mind that, say, China is putting in a huge amount of fossil fuel capacity um, and that we've got a huge amount of fossil fuel capacity remaining in the UK, around the world. Um, there's a lot of uh, power stations that are going to, be, going to be emitting CO2 for a long period of time and if we're serious about abating the CO2 emissions from those, we need to start thinking about something like carbon capture and storage. Um, and really, um, at the moment, um, there are some demonstration programmes being um, put together. There's a demonstration programme being put together in the UK um, by the Department for Energy and Climate Change, um, looking at putting carbon capture on one large power station, or maybe actually an industrial um, setting as well. The, the, it's non-prescriptive what it's going to be. Um, but we're still in we're still in early days. But we are very rapidly um, improving our abilities to actually do this. And what, what is it you're doing? You're working in partnership with the, with uh, people here in Qatar. What's just very generally? What's what, what is it you're doing? Here? So, so the um, Qatar Carbonates and Carbon Storage Research Centre um, is a joint project between Imperial College um, and. Uh, partners over here, I think it's Shell and uh, Qatar Petroleum, and um, they are looking to look at the precise features of the geology in um, and around Qatar, which um, is slightly different in that it's carbonate rather than sort of sandstone rocks, which might be um, the type of um, rock that you would find elsewhere in the world or um, which is in some ways more widespread um, and so what they're looking at is how to um, store CO2 safely in this slightly different type of um, geological 
um, formation to um, what it is elsewhere.